Seven comets, one interstellar intruder, and all of them arriving within the span of a single month in 2025. What are the chances of something like this happening? Statisticians say the odds may be less than one in 30,000, but numbers don't capture the feeling of seeing a cosmic flock racing across the sky in near-perfect sync. Could they simply be coincidences, or is there a deeper rhythm we're missing in the solar system's dynamics? By the end of this video, you'll not only know the answer, you'll see it unfolding folding above your head. Why would seven comets, each formed in far-flung corners of space, arrive almost together in a single stretch of weeks? That's the puzzle staring astronomers in the face. Usually, the cometary calendar is sparse. In a typical year, if we're lucky, one or two grow bright enough to see without a telescope. Yet in late 2025, seven separate ice-bound travelers will all reach their dramatic moments of visibility within about 30 days. The raw odds of this kind of pile up are so low that it immediately raises eyebrows, because space is vast, and comets normally wander on timelines that stretch into centuries. To understand why this is unusual, think about the sources. One of them, 3i slash ATLAS, doesn't even belong to the solar system. It's slicing through from interstellar space, its orbit hyperbolic, meaning it won't be captured by the sun. Alongside it are members of the Oort cloud, an almost mythical sphere of ice bodies surrounding our system far beyond Pluto. Others like C slash 2025 R2 were only discovered by modern survey instruments scanning the sky daily. In other words, they come from radically different families, yet their orbits bring them all into focus at nearly the same time, as if seven strangers bought tickets to the same small town show without knowing the others existed. Think of it like a marathon finish line. Runners from every continent who trained alone and never coordinated schedules all managed to stagger across the tape within seconds. You wouldn't immediately assume they rehearsed it that way, but you would stop and ask what random forces aligned to make it happen. That's the same head-scratching moment astronomers find themselves in with these comets. History has seen comet clusters before, but they hardly compare. In the 1990s, there were a few back-to-back -back comets visible in short succession. Earlier centuries recorded scattered pairs that sparked public excitement. Yet all of those examples involved maybe two, some sometimes three objects. Nothing on record comes close to seven comets arriving in such unison. The statistical weight of that comparison is why many experts have voiced cautious amazement. They're used to outliers, but admitting that natural chaos lined up this way tests the boundaries of probability. So, is it coincidence, or is an unseen order shaping it? Gravitational mathematics suggests chance can explain it, though the rarity is extreme. Some probability models put the expected recurrence at once in 30,000 to 100,000 years. That's the span of human civilization in a single roll of the cosmic dice. It doesn't mean anything exotic is required, but it does mean we're living in a window almost no other generation would have seen. If seven different sources can converge on the night sky at once, then the next layer of curiosity becomes the pacing. How exactly do they spread out across the calendar, and what will that look like to us standing on Earth? Imagine seven celestial clouds clocks all striking at nearly the same moment. Instead of sound filling a concert hall, it's streaks of light painting the sky. That's what the final months of 2025 are shaping up to look like. The comets don't arrive simultaneously. They space themselves just enough to resemble a relay race, each passing the baton to the next. When one fades, another brightens. To understand the rhythm, we need to follow the order carefully, because the timing is what turns these wanderers into a coordinated display. The first runner out of the gate is C slash 2025 R2, also called SWAN. On October 21st, it swings in close to the sun, reaching perihelion at about half the Earth-Sun distance. As it nears that point, sunlight heats its core, vaporizing frozen gases and lifting dust into a glowing tail. That tail could end up visible with the naked eye, especially after sunset for observers in darker regions. Right on its heels is another contender, C slash 2025 a6, sometimes nicknamed Lemon. It reaches its closest approach to the sun almost at the same time, overlapping the calendar by just a handful of hours. For stargazers in northern latitudes, both may be visible together, side by side, giving the impression of twin torches lighting up the same patch of sky. Then comes the wild card. 3i slash ATLAS. Instead of looping around the sun on a long curve like the others, it barrels through on a hyperbolic path. On October 
29th, it slides closest to the sun, and a few weeks later, in mid-November, it comes near Earth. That proximity will make it stand out even more, because this is an interstellar body we'll never see again once it leaves. Its path is both unpredictable and fascinating, since its surface hasn't been conditioned by long cycles inside our solar system. In a sense, it represents the guest runner joining a lineup of locals. The race doesn't end there. Through November and well into December, other comets in the group step up with their own peaks. Some brighten gradually, others flare unexpectedly as volatile ices erupt from deep inside. This spacing creates not a single night of action, but a rolling sequence that plays out week by week. Instead of a firework that fades with one grand burst, this is more like a lantern festival, unfolding in stages across the evening sky. If you could zoom out far above the Earth, the paths would form a loose formation, resembling migrating birds stretched across the heavens, necks extended, wings aligned. CGI renderings of the predicted positions even show arcs bending in near parallel, converging toward the inner solar system like a choreographed display. Down here on Earth, shifts in our orbit give us windows where two or even three could come into view in quick succession. That's what adds the cinematic effect. It's not just a science diagram, it's a moving sky show. All of this invites a deeper question. If so many comets cross paths at once, does that reveal something about their origins, or is it only an extraordinary coincidence? Could there be more than chance behind the sight of seven comets all arriving within a month? That question naturally comes up when something in the sky looks too orderly. Coincidences in astronomy happen often enough. Planets group in the same part of the sky, meteor showers overlap, and sometimes comets follow one another by accident. But this particular crowd feels extreme because each body comes from unrelated regions and still manages to appear together. That's what makes scientists pause. The usual way comets move doesn't really allow tight coordination. Their orbits are set by centuries of gravitational nudges from giant planets and the shape of their original path around the sun. Small pushes can alter them, but not by huge amounts. For instance, every active comet vents gas as sunlight warms it. That release works like a weak rocket engine, giving what astronomers call a non-gravitational acceleration. It can twist the orbit slightly or shift the timing by days, but it's far too small to synchronize seven bodies that started in different eras and from different cosmic storage bins. That rules out outgassing as the reason why they clump so neatly in 2025. Whenever unusual order appears, more dramatic ideas take hold. A few people speculate that external guidance could be involved. If the universe threw us a riddle, maybe it signals something artificial. But science works on evidence, and here the trail is plain. Spectroscopic data, the analysis of sunlight bouncing off dust and vapor, shows the same familiar mixture seen in hundreds of comets before. Water ice turning to gas, clouds of dust, and simple organics like methanol and carbon compounds. Nothing that would mark these objects as exotic or engineered. They look exactly like regular comets that just happen to share a calendar date. That hasn't stopped cross-checking. Radio observatories that monitor distant signals pointed toward the incoming bodies as part of coordinated listening campaigns. Facilities normally used by SETI joined in, scanning at multiple frequencies. If any hidden transmitter rode along, silence didn't hide it. The results came back empty. No hints of artificial signals, just cosmic quiet. There is, however, another natural force that shapes all of them at once, the sun. The period we're entering is a solar maximum, when magnetic storms and solar winds grow stronger. Streams of charged particles sweep through space, changing how a comet's tail looks from Earth. Sometimes a burst severs the ion tail entirely, making it appear to snap or disconnect. Dozens of these moments have been photographed in past solar cycles. That real-time connection between solar weather and comet displays explains why the group in 2025 may seem even livelier. They're not dancing together deliberately. They're all responding to the same driver, the sun pressing at just the right moment. Stack all the evidence and the simplest interpretation holds. This cluster is a natural but extraordinarily rare overlap, the kind of timing that statistics allow but we almost never see. Still, even a coincidence matters because it acts as a natural experiment in how orbits and solar activity interact right in our backyard. This comet cluster is more than a rare sky show. It's a way to test how well our models truly track orbital dynamics and even how interstellar visitors behave under the sun.
sun's pull, what happens in late 2025 will sharpen our understanding of both prediction and discovery. Mark your calendars for October through December, install a star tracking app, and consider joining a citizen science project that lets you contribute observations. While the synchronization may come down to chance, the meaning is in what we do with it. Watching, recording, and learning is how fleeting alignments turn into lasting knowledge.